Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be going over how to find the area of a sector of a circle. This is a viewer requested video. I always appreciate those viewer requests. Be sure to leave yours down in the comments. So here we have a beautiful circle that I drew completely by hand, and here is the center of the circle. Now let's draw a sector of this circle. So here we have a central angle, and the central angle intersecting the circle creates this sector. So our goal is to find the area of this sector, and we'll call that A. We're trying to find A, the area of the sector. And we will say that the radius of the circle is R, and this central angle has a measure of theta degrees. And then lastly, we'll say that this arc length is equal to S. To find A, the area of this sector, which is this shaded region here, we need to know some beautiful proportionality that's present in circles. The measure of this central angle, which we said is theta degrees, divided by the whole angle measure of the circle, which is 360 degrees because it is a circle, is equal to the area of the sector, which we said is A, divided by the area of the whole circle, which we know is pi r squared. Remember that r is the radius of the circle, and these ratios are also equal to this arc length, s, divided by the whole circumference of this circle, which is 2 times pi times r. Remember the familiar formula, the circumference is equal to pi times diameter, but remember diameter is just equal to 2 times the radius. So by substituting 2r, in for d, we get that the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times r. So look at this incredible beauty. The ratio of the central angle to the whole angle measure of the circle is equal to the ratio of the area of the sector to the area of the whole circle, and those are both equal to the ratio of this arc length to the circumference of the whole circle. It's really a beautiful thing, and it gives us two ways to find the area of this sector. So looking at these equalities here, we could use the measure of the central angle and the radius to solve for the area of the sector, or we could use the measure of the arc length and the measure of the radius to solve for the area of the sector. If we wanted to use this equality here that uses the central angle measure, then we would just multiply both sides of the equation by pi r squared in order to solve for a. That would give us a is equal to theta degrees multiplied by pi r squared, and it's all getting divided by 360 degrees. So again, that was just considering this equation and then multiplying both sides by pi r squared in order to solve for the area of the sector in terms of the measure of the central angle. But of course, that's not the only equation we have. We could also use this equation, solving for a in terms of the arc length. To do that, again, we would just multiply both sides by pi r squared. That would give us a, the area of the sector, is equal to s, the arc length, times pi r squared. This is all getting divided by that 2 pi r. So we have 2 pi r. And we can do some simplification here. The pi's cancel out, and one factor of r cancels out. So this is equal to s, the arc length, multiplied by r, the radius, divided by 2. So look at that. We've got two formulas to solve for the area of the sector. And of course, we can pick the right one depending on the information we have. So before we go, let's quickly do an example. Let's say that theta, the central angle measure, is equal to 30 degrees. And let's say that r, the radius measure, is equal to 3 centimeters. Then, since we know the central angle, we'll want to go ahead and use this formula. Using this formula, we get that a, the area of the sector, is equal to theta, which we know is 30 degrees, so it's equal to 30 degrees multiplied by pi multiplied by r squared. Remember that r is equal to 3 centimeters, so r squared is equal to 9 centimeters squared. And then this is getting divided by 360 degrees. These degree units are going to cancel out. And I know that 30 is 1 12th of 360. So this simplifies to 1 12th times pi times 9 centimeters squared. 
But then, of course, since we have a 1 12th multiplied by 9, we can do some more simplification. 3 goes into 9 3 times, and 3 goes into 12 4 times. So this is equal to 3 fourths pi centimeters squared. For those of you who like decimal approximations, that's equal to about 2.36 centimeters squared. And I should mention that this all works the same way if theta was an angle measured in radians. We would just have to make an adjustment to this ratio. So instead of theta degrees, it would be theta radians. And then instead of 360 degrees, it would be the total number of radians in a circle, which is 2 pi radians. So then you could go through the same exact process using radians. Now let me tell you a secret about this circle so that you have a practice exercise to do. Its arc length, s, is equal to 1 half pi centimeters. I'll write it down here. s, the length of this arc, is equal to 1 half pi centimeters. So now that you know s, the length of this arc, try finding the area of the sector using this formula. If you do it right, you'll get the exact same area we got before. Let me know how it goes down in the comments. So that's all there is to finding the area of a sector of a circle. You've got this beautiful equality between a few different ratios, and then using those equalities, whether your angle is measured in radians or degrees, you can derive a couple of formulas and easily find the area of the sector. So I hope this video helped you understand how to find the area of a sector of a circle. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. My Plutonian dream is a hellfire home.